Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over a proof that the three medians of a triangle cut the triangle into six smaller triangles of equal area. I know it's a very catchy title. This is a viewer requested video. If you have any video requests, be sure to leave them down in the comments. So we'll begin by drawing a triangle and making sure we know exactly what this theorem is stating. And then of course, we'll go through a proof of it. It's a very neat property of medians of triangles because it's not something that necessarily appears true at first glance. So a proof is definitely something that's nice to see. So here I'm just drawing the medians of the triangle. Remember that a median of a triangle is a line segment from a vertex of the triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So the three medians of this triangle look something like that. And let me go ahead and center this triangle a little bit. No need to have it off to the side. All right, so we are trying to prove that the areas of these six triangles cut by the medians are all equal. We're proving that these six areas are equal, and they don't really look like they're equal, which is what makes it a very interesting fact. And we are starting from the assumption that the three medians intersect at one point so as to actually create these six triangles. So we're not proving that fact in this video. So let's begin by noticing some congruencies. Remember that a median of a triangle is a line segment from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So by definition, this line segment here is congruent to this line segment here. I'll mark that they are congruent with these single lines. Similarly, by definition of median, this line segment here is congruent to this line segment here, which I'll mark with the two lines. And then of course, this segment here is congruent to this segment here. We'll mark that congruency with three lines. All right, so we've got a few pairs of congruent sides. That seems like some decent progress. Since we're trying to prove something about triangle areas, seems reasonable that we should keep the area formula in our minds. Remember that the area of a triangle is equal to one half times the base times the height. So if two triangles have the same base and the same height, they have to have the same area. So with that in mind, let's start trying to demonstrate some equal areas in these six triangles. It would make sense to start with these two triangles. We already know that they both have the same base. Then what is the height of this triangle here? Well, if this is the base of the triangle, then the height is this distance from the uh, opposite vertex down to that base. So that's this distance right here. You might notice that it turns out this is also the height of this triangle because again, it's the distance from the vertex to the line containing the base. So since these two triangles have congruent bases and equal heights, we know that they have the same area. And let's refer to that area as A. So they both have an area of A. And we can use the exact same logic to demonstrate that these two triangles have the same area. We'll call that area B. They both have area B and prove that these two triangles also have the exact same area and we'll call that area C. So one more time, the reasoning here is that these two triangles have the same base length. We know that because this median bisects this side by definition of median. And then by definition of the height of a triangle, this distance right here is the height of this triangle and it's the height of this triangle. So they have the same area. And that exact same argument works with these two triangles. The height would look something like that. And uh, the same argument works with these two triangles where the height would look something like that. But I'm gonna erase those dotted line heights because we don't need them. All right, so we've made some progress. We have a few pairs of congruent area triangles, but that still isn't enough because remember, we're trying to prove that all of these triangles have the exact same area. So we might begin to wonder, can we use these two congruent bases to compare some other pair of triangles? And if we look closely, we see that we can. This is the base of this triangle here. Let me re-highlight re that. And this is the base of this triangle here. When we're proving stuff about triangles, noticing all sorts of different triangles involved in the situation can often be very useful. So we know that these two triangles have the same base length. Then if we say draw the height of this triangle here, 
that's going to look something, something like this. And of course, you might notice that this is also the height of this triangle. So just as before, using the same argument, we've now shown that the area of this triangle, right in here, is the same as the area of this triangle. Again, that's because they have congruent bases and they have the same height. So if this area is equal to this area, we can actually write that as an equation. Since this area is equal to a plus b plus b, we can write a plus b plus b. This is equal to this area here, which we know is equal to a plus c plus c. So a plus b plus b, that's equal to a plus c plus c. And we can actually rewrite these. b plus b is equal to 2b, and c plus c is equal to 2c. So I'll actually rewrite these over here as a plus 2b is equal to a plus 2c. And again, that's because the area of this triangle is equal to the area of this triangle. Now we can do a little bit of algebra. Let's subtract a from both sides. That gives us 2b is equal to 2c. Then of course, just divide both sides by 2, and we are left with b is equal to c. So that's very helpful. If b is equal to c, then instead of writing c as the area of these two triangles, we can just write b, because b and c are equal. So now we're almost there. All we have to do now is show that b is equal to a. We just proved that b is equal to c by proving that the area of this triangle is equal to the area of this triangle. Now we just have to use the same logic again, but on a different pair of triangles. We could use this triangle and this triangle. We see they have congruent bases. Or we could use this triangle and this triangle. Either pair will work just fine, but we'll go ahead and use these two triangles. We already see clearly they have the same base. Now let's draw the height. The height looks, well, that's pretty bad, the height looks something like this. And again, this is the height of both of these triangles. So since they have the same base and they have the same height, we know that this triangle and this triangle have to have the same area. Now we can set up an equation just like we did before. We know that this triangle's area is b plus a plus a, which is b plus 2a. So I'll write that right over here. And we know that that area is the same as this area over here. And this area is b plus b plus b or 3b. So we can write that b plus 2a is equal to 3b. Then subtract b from both sides. That's going to give us 2a is equal to 3b minus 1b. That's 2b. Divide both sides by 2, and we get that a is equal to b. Then, of course, instead of writing b as the area for these four triangles, we can just write a. And, of course, we now see that the area of all six of these triangles is exactly the same. And that's how the proof goes. I think it's pretty neat. Nothing too complicated. All we had to do was notice that these three pairs of sides are congruent by definition of median, and then just use an equal base, equal height argument to show equal areas for a bunch of different triangles. Do a little bit of algebra, and we get all of the equalities that we want. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove that these six triangles cut by the medians of a triangle all have the exact same area. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And if you'd like to go the extra mile, you can check out my Patreon page down in the description and support the channel for as little as a dollar a month. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to There's a light where I float that erases all